judgment is a big one here. So rather than experience something that makes me uncomfortable, I judge the experience. And therefore, I don't have to experience the discomfort. I experience the glory of my judgment. Does that make sense to everyone? I'll give you an example with judgment. So judgment's been a big journey for me. And um, I, I live on the lower North Shore in Sydney. And I moved into my house about six years ago. And um, I'm an absolute animal lover, crazy about animals, just about anything. If it breathes and it's got legs and wings and whatever, I love it. And um, anyway, when I moved into my house, the people next door to me who are elderly, um, they had a sulfur-crested cockatoo in a tiny little cockatoo cage. You know, that minimum legal cage size. Hideous. And I was appalled. I was appalled. And I felt sick and I got really angry. How could they do that? They must be horrible. Like all of this judgment. And this cockatoo was kept out in the backyard under a, like a, a wooden plank, exposed to the weather. And the first thing I did when I met them was ask them about the cockatoo. And I won't tell you the number, but the cockatoo had been in the cage for years. And it sent me into a spiral of judgment that I just could not escape. I, I found it really hard to talk to them. I, I just saw them as cruel people. Anyway, um, I stayed stuck in that for several years. And one day I looked off my up upstairs balcony and the cage was empty. I went into my neighbours and I said, where's the cocky? What's happened? Oh, the cocky died of old age. And I was so sad. I, was, I mean, I was sad that the, cock that the cockatoo had died, but I was also relieved for it because it was not a good existence living in the cage. But I was very uncomfortable with how I felt about it. Something just wasn't right. And it wasn't until a few weeks later when I was sitting quietly in my backyard that it hit me why I was feeling this discomfort. You see, because I'd sat in judgment for years about my neighbours and about the experience of this cockatoo, I did nothing to help that cockatoo. My judgment got in the way of my kindness. I could have done a million things to help that bird. I could have given it bones. I could have taken it treats. I could have done, there are many, many things I could have done. But I didn't because I was stuck in judgment. And that's what judgment does. It disconnects us from reality and it stops us from acting from the best part of ourselves. And all of these behaviours have the same impact. When we blame others, we act from the most disillusioned, immature part of ourselves. When we're in judgment, we act from the part of ourselves that doesn't, I did not want to experience the discomfort of cruelty right before my eyes. So rather than experience that, I sat in judgment and it cost me my ability to be kind. And it cost me the ability to help that bird. So now when I feel judgmental, I just remember the cockatoo. And, but it took that experience for me to wake up to the cost of these behaviours and how they take us out of mindfulness and frankly contributed to two years of me feeling awful rather than me going, how can I be part of the solution here? What can I do to help? 